When it's time to stuff your beef trachea, you wanna make sure you have plenty of watered down dog food. In this case, the beef tracheas have a good amount of calories and a lot of times what we're giving on fireworks day is gonna have some extra calories. So I'm using a weight management formula or a diet formula of canned dog food. It's still very palatable and yummy, but it has a little bit less calories to worry about. So the first thing you of course wanna do is get that saran wrap plastic layer, wrap that around the base, and we're gonna plug up the bottom the same way um, we would with any toy like a Kong or a marrow bone. So we wanna give a little bit of extra firmness. So I'll use a little bit of aluminum foil around the base of this in addition to the plastic foil. And that gives me something that I can pack that plug of peanut butter or canned food up against the bottom. So in this case, I'm going to use canned food. I've used both. I think both peanut butter and the um, non-watered down wet food works just fine. So this is again a situation where you have to use whatever tools you can to get it packed in there. And I usually start with my fingers up and you'll just drop it down in there to start with. Make sure you get a good amount in the bottom. And then you can use your spoon to pack it in. I've even used the end of the spoon sometimes. Pack a little bit more in there. And it is sometimes a challenge to get these to stand up straight. And that's why I have various cups and bowls to help me out. So you can put this right down in the cup. This is gonna help it stand up in the freezer, but it also helps it stand up while you're trying to get it loaded with stuff. So I've got enough down in there that it's plugging the bottom really well. And you just wanna make sure that your um, cup is deep enough that you're hitting the bottom when you're packing that. So now I'm ready to go ahead and load it with the watered down uh, wet food. And you can add a little bit more water if it seems like it um, can take it. This I'm gonna just do a little bit more water again. Adding a little bit of water at a time helps you to not do too much because you can't take the water back out. But that's a little bit more soupy, which makes it easier to stuff. And then once we get it frozen, it helps reduce the calories a little bit but still makes it a yummy treat that your dog has to work through. Now, I almost always like to top off my treats with um, something that's sticking out of there. These are turkey tendons. You could use a piece of jerky, um, anything like that that you find at the pet supply store, and you can stick it right down in the middle. You can also layer this with bits of hot dog. Um, you can use cookies, little store-bought treats, pieces of chicken. You can mix in some rice. A lot of things to vary this up and make it more fun. From this cup, that's not gonna stand up very well, so I am gonna go back to my blue cup. I've got a nice solid base on there. Go back to this blue cup, and you can just go to the dollar store or something like that and buy a bunch of little cups. You could get um, solo cups or anything from the grocery store that you could store these in that'll make it easy to go into the freezer. Just gonna rinse my hands off a little bit there. And then this can go into our cup of goodies that we can put into the freezer.